to the entire world. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. What if I told you planet Earth is simply a waiting room for God? The planet we dwell, the planet we call home, is simply a waiting room for God. This is why we are here. We are here not to just live a life randomly and then die. No, while we are here on this earth, in this waiting room, God is watching. Just as you go to the doctor's office or if you're in a restaurant and you see someone walk in and they immediately get seated. Someone walks into the doctor's office and they immediately go to the back and the doctor's waiting on them. You have been there for a tremendous amount of time or you know you have been there longer than this individual has and other people have been there longer than you have. And you see this person go straight to the back. It is like that in life. It's like that on earth. This is God's waiting room. And so while we are here on this earth, we shall do the work of God. We shall live by the accordance of God's will. We shall live by the ordinances God has laid before us. We cannot fall into the commonalities of the waiting room, this world, planet Earth. Yes, we are human, but being human, that is the smallest part of you. The biggest part of you is unseen, your spirit. Your spirit was made in the image of God. God was and God is and God, therefore, will be forever more infinitely the uncreated one. And this is the image that we all on this planet are made in. And we must believe and carry forth and be fruitful and multiply while we are here in God's waiting room. How are you treating the people who sit next to you in God's waiting room? Do you acknowledge them? Do you encourage them in their waiting upon the Lord? Do you encourage them to keep seeking and they will find? People who go straight into the back of the doctor's office, people who walk into the restaurant and they immediately get seated. These people already had an appointment. These people already fulfilled prerequisites to get to the back of the doctor's office. And part of those prerequisites, we don't know about because everything is not seen with the human eye. You must look with your spiritual eye to see what God has for the spirit. Use the Bible as the reference point in your life. Use the living word to carry you, to embolden you, to embody you, to embrace you, to embellish you in your eternal journey to be seated at the table with God. But while you are here, you have to be diligent. You have to be disciplined and you must find a way to still be delighted in the Lord when you are in the waiting room this planet this is the time you get judged just as you are in the doctor's office impatient in a rush frustrated not sending out positive spiritual energy to the individuals that are around you and that are in the exact same situation. Now, if you think about life, we all were made in the image of God and we all 
are human beings. And we all have the spirit within us. And that is our true being, the spirit. Now, if we cannot recognize that all of us right now who live, our hearts beat. And we do not ask our heart to beat. We do not have to ask our lungs to inhale and exhale. We don't have to say, brain, formulate a thought so that I may respond to this person. These things happen innately. And that is part of the spirit that was blown into you. The breath of life. The words you speak, whether you know this or not, they do not flow outward and down. The words you speak have anti-gravity properties. They float upwards to heaven. They float directly to the ear of God. So when you speak the words that you speak, make sure you have this understanding that those words go directly to the ear of God. This is factual. Science has proven this. God is the creator of science. And science has proven this, that your voice has anti-gravity properties. And when you speak your words go up, praises go up, and blessings come down. And you are blessed according to how you speak. If you are angry and you are in a disposition and you stay in that state no matter who's around you, then you will be blessed with more travail, more anger. It shall multiply now if you find a way to be patient and keep your mind from being idle as you wait talk to other individuals help them out and you learn from them as they learn from you then your blessings of knowledge and wisdom and articulation shall multiply because we are here in the waiting room of God. Just as we have on this earth, people who are here and they leave us at a very, very young phase in their life. And we have people who are here and they live long and fruitful forever, it seems like, lives. This is the waiting room. So the ones that you see in that doctor's office, they had prerequisites. They had prerequisites. They had an appointment that was scheduled prior to your appointment. Their needs might be more dire than yours. Their needs might be in more straits than yours. Though you may not be able to perceive it through the human flesh, through the human eye, the spirit dictates otherwise. Enjoy your time in the word of God. You must find God for your own self. So you will be ready when it's time to be seated within the presence of God. You will be ready. You will be ready to give God this praise. You won't get caught off guard, filled with frustration, anxiety, projecting emotions, outwardly not realizing that your light is dimming other people's light. It is that important. It is that imperative. It's not about being a Christian. It's not about being a Muslim it's not about practicing Hinduism, Sikh. It's not about any religion. 
It's about the spirit that we all were made in. The disciplined route you choose to get there, whether it's by any of these religions or more, that is up to you because you are an individual and individually you will be there and no one else will be with you. It will be you. And there will be a book that you know not about, I know not about, filled with everything that we did here on planet Earth, God's waiting room. Are you ready? Are you putting yourself in a position to where you know you are doing righteous, God-guided acts to bless the next person? Are you ready to be that blessing to the next person so when God calls upon you, you'll know what to say. You won't be caught off guard. God works in mysterious ways. God has many names, but no one on this earth knows the true name of God. No one knows the true name of God. No one does. It has not been whispered to a living soul. But it is in you. It is in me. And we must act accordingly. And we must continue to seek the countenance, the endowment of the spiritual magnitude of the Holy Spirit of the word of Jesus Christ, of the word of God. These are the things that we shall see. Understand this waiting room has been here and there have been many occupants in this waiting room we call planet Earth. And as long as we think we are waiting in this room it is but less than a deci second in accordance to the timing of God. A deci second. That means something. That means a lot. So take advantage of this moment in time that you have in your life to draw yourself closer to God, to study the word of God for your own self. For your own being because you will be the only one who can justify you this is why Jesus told us to lean on the understanding of God this is why in the Bible it tells us to lean on the understanding of God this is part of the reason that Jesus tore up the temple. Jesus dismantled the church. The church. Jesus dismantled the church. Jesus talked about the pastors, the ministers, the deacons, the deaconess, the prophets and the prophetess, the lawyers, the senators of these times the delegates of these times. Jesus spoke about these people and Jesus spoke ill about these people. Jesus said it would be easier for a camel to get through a needle's eye than it would be for a rich man to get into heaven. And we're not talking about a threading needle that you so in stitch with we're talking about a gate this camel had to literally bow to get inside of this gate and with the rich man having all those treasures riding on the delicacy of a camel there is no way he can pass through that gate being as tight 
and as narrow as the gate is? Are you that person to where you can't get through a needle's eye? You can't get through this crevice? You can't get through this crack? Because the pathway to the kingdom of God is straight and it is narrow. Straight and narrow. We have to understand that. Yet as a human being, it's very difficult for us to walk a straight line. A straight line as a human being is very difficult to walk if you don't notice the path in front of you. There have been many to walk this path that are in front of us that have walked the path of the waiting room of God, planet Earth. You have to be willing to walk the path, that straight and narrow path while you are here on planet Earth, God's waiting. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. Keep God first place in all that you do. And keep in mind, you have to plan strategically for your life or your life will strategically plan for you. Be blessed and stay phenomenal.